So if we want to do some view-based camera manipulation, uh, one of the ways that you can do it is uh, by hitting the lock button. And you can see that it frames the um, these boundary margins in red. So depending on like what the aspect of your scene is, you know, see they'll be up here if, you know, proportionally your 16 by 9 frame, you know, fits, depending on how your camera fits into the size of your viewport, those bars will appear on either um, the side or the top. Um, so once this is locked, we can kind of move around and we can see that we're actually bringing the camera with us. If I hit control two to split my view and then hit spacebar one while my mouse is over here, I can get a second perspective view to kind of see what's happening. Now, it doesn't look like I can see my camera in this view. So let's just, uh, yeah, I'm just checking. So now if I move this camera around, you can see it. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you can actually see that when I'm moving this camera around in this view, it's actually updating the position of the camera. Um, but there's another uh, way that you can do it in the view. I'm just gonna hit control one to kind of go back over here. Another way that you can manipulate your camera in the view is by using the manipulator. There's a really nice little view uh, manipulator for the camera. So this handle that pops up when you actually have the camera selected, you get this nice, um, this nice red frame and then this little uh, gizmo in the middle here. So with this arrow that points down diagonally to the left, that is your Z axis. So you can actually directly push in and out on your Z axis. And you can likewise pan uh, sideways and upward using these middle arrows. So this is kind of a nice little 3D um, handle to have in the middle here. Then these two on the outside, this one allows you to turn. So I don't know if it's apparent, really apparent right now, but you're actually, we're, we're kind of tilting our head. You can see it's uh, jacking up our rotation uh, parameters over here as we do that. And likewise for this arrow down here, this arrow also helps us kind of do a little uh, up and down rotation. And um, if we kind of push in here a little bit, the other control is this one. This one right here is kind of the roll. We can kind of just rotate our view using this uh, extra little handle up here. So I love using this one. It's really nice when you need to get a nice precise uh, positioning of your camera and or maybe you're having a hard time navigating uh, because there isn't like a lot of uh, there isn't a lot of geo that you can select in your scene or whatever and kind of pivot around. So I always find this manipulator to be uh, rather helpful in that regard.